What's up guys and a warm welcome to everyone. Uh, this is me, Ahmad Khan, and I am a dedicated cyber security researcher and an experienced programmer. It is a pleasure to have you join us uh, for today's lecture. Uh, in this lecture, basically we will embark on a comprehensive exploration uh, of a sophisticated tool that I have recently coded known as Deep Shadow Crypter. This tool is designed to address a critical aspect of uh, bypassing into viruses security detection mechanism. So today's our discussion will focus on the intricate methodology and uh, advanced te uh, techniques employed to render a payload fully undetectable, thereby circumventing the detection mechanism of conventional antivirus software. By leveraging the capability of deep shadow capture, uh, we aim to understand how to achieve this level of stealth and sophistication. We will thoroughly examine the underlying principle and a practical application of this tool in a real world scenario means how penetration tester or hacker can bypass into viruses using crypto like deep shadow crypto. The objective is to equip you with the knowledge and skill necessary to enhance your cyber security measure and stray ahead of potential threats. Without further wasting your time, I think let's still into the details, mechanics and functionality of Deep Shadow Crafter and cover how it can be effectively utilized to achieve our goal. So in advance, thank you for your attention and let's begin uh, this journey into the realm of cybersecurity. So let's get started. Uh, you can check uh, Deep Shadow Crypto from cybersecrevolution.org. You can visit cybersecrevolution.org. If you will click here, you will be able to see the URL for cybersecrevolution.org. Uh, as you can see here, you will get a bunch of product. You can see Deep Shadow Crypto. If I will click here, you will be able to uh, see Deep, uh, Deep Shadow Crypto and you can purchase it if you want. So let's get started. You can see here uh, Deep Shadow Crypto. So let me maximize the view. Uh, I'm so sorry since I'm using VMware that's uh, pretty little bit crazy you can see him so what I'm going to do I'm going to open deep show crafter and then I will try to craft my malware called server.exe I will show the initial result of server.exe and I will show the crafted result and then you can compare both result uh, hope it's gonna help us to be possible you can see I right, asking for the hardware ID in order to register and to get the license since I have a date so I will click on OK let's see you are authenticated that's cool and now let's see deep show, deep show crypto will be opened our deep show crypto is in front of you so we have uh, the first option is about browse payload the second option is for browse icon so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, copy the current location for the malware and then I'm going to click on browse uh, you can see here I will choose uh, server.exe of course so I will click on browse icon let's see if we have I will choose this icon I will click on it to start up sleep for five seconds totally depend on you if you want you can check otherwise you can uh, leave it and you can see here about uh, this is me basically a manga of course I'm a developer of this scripter uh, this is our support email this is my email of course and this is our website you will cyber security tutorial so I'll click on okay and finally I will click on crap let's see what will happen so I'm waiting for this uh, meanwhile I'm going to visit clean uh, I think so clean scanning of course and I have to browse the initial file to show the initial result for for the malware of course so I have clicked browse button and let's see uh, since as I saw before I have mentioned uh, my system I mean uh, I'm using VMware it's pretty slow so what I'm going to do I'm going to paste the location I'm going to hit enter uh, server file and then what I'm going to do I'm going to of course uh, go for scan so I will click on scan button and let's see how many antiviruses detects this particular file you can see here the detection ratio detected detected so almost I think so it's fully detectable you can see this is the initial file result you can see here 
thought out of 40 32 antiviruses are able to detect this file which is initial file of course and now what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to upload uh, the crypted file and let's see and let's compare the result so i will duplicate of course i will make the duplicate of this and as you can see here your payload has been crypted your period has been crypted successfully i am so sorry uh for the wrong <laughs> sentence that i mentioned please check dust folder for output of course i will click on okay so first of all uh, first of all i will delete this file of course this is detectable if i will turn on windows defender it will detect it so that's why we don't need for this file it's also useless and while on the other hand I'm going to upload the crypted file as well in order to get the result how many antiviruses um, detect this particular file so let's see so I have to visit dust folder of course I have my crypted malware and dust folder and I will select this I will click on open and let's see then I will click on scan let's see I'm waiting for the result so while well, on the other hand i will minimize it uh, i will try to scan with windows defender let's see if it can detect it or not so oops i will go back i will click on test and now let me turn on windows defender so if i'll visit this if i'll click on manage settings okay you can see how windows defender real-time protection is turned on so while on the other hand i'm going to show the result detection result it's still on scanning process uh, so what i'm going to do first of all i'm going to scan this file with uh, windows defender and let's see if if it can uh, detect the file or not so what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, okay I cannot I can drag and drop so I will right click and then what I will do I will click on more option and then I will click on scan with Windows Defender and let's see no current threat you can see here so of course this is item skip during scan the microsoft defendant to where it can skip item due to exclusion or network scanning this is something else but again if i will try to scan it and let's see windows defender will not detect it during scan time you can see here you can see here windows defender is unable to detect it but right now i'm going to execute it and let's see if we are able to bypass runtime or not if windows defender can detect this particular file or not during execution means if i will execute it if i will run it let's see if we can bypass runtime as well or not so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on right click and then i will click on open and let's see if windows defender can detect or not i will open and you can see here nothing happened so we have successfully bypassed windows defender at runtime and as well as scan time for the demonstration purpose of course i will open task manager in order to show you if the file is successfully run in the background of windows operating system or not i mean vmware or not so i will open task manager and then i will show you background processes so we have successfully bypassed windows defender at runtime and scan time so you can see here in the background process let me show you we got encrypted.exe it means that our malware or encrypted malware is successfully run in the background without having any issue without without having any detection warning so we have successfully bypassed windows defender while on the other hand i'm going to show you the result for the file and let's see how many antiviruses detected and you can see how only six antiviruses detect this particular file you can see her avast evg you can see 
we have bypassed all into RSS except only sex into RSS but you can see here right now this file is detected by sex into RSS when I coded the uh, when I coded the crapter first time it was fully undetectable right now you can see here it's detected by sex into RSS but if you will purchase this crapter of course I will modify it for you to make it fully undetectable in order to bypass these six into RSS further and you can see uh, the initial result is in front of you and after crafting you can see here this is the final result so in this lecture we saw deep shadow crafter and we learned how we can bypass into RSS of course again I'm going to repeat if you will buy this crafter if you will purchase it right now of course it's detected by sex into RSS I will modify it for you modify it for you and have to bypass these six into viruses as well so don't worry about it you don't really need to worry about it thank you very much